Hey guys, Mike for Sim Racing 604 and today's video is going to be short and sweet. I'm just going to show you how to start a car in a Saddle Corsa. First thing to do, press a button for ignition and then hold down a button for starter. Simple enough, right? Except, which buttons do you use for ignition and starter? Well, I'll show you how to map those. In this particular case, we're using the uh, VRC Chevrette, and uh, it's got assignable buttons for ignition and starter. So I'll show you where to do that in Content Manager. All right, so from Content Manager, as you can see across the top, we have drive, lap times, etc., etc. If we go to Settings, and then make sure we choose controls in the left pane. And then across the submenu here, choose patch. You can see we have extra options A through F. In this case, we're gonna be using extra option A. So click to assign. I'm gonna use button nine on my Fanatec wheel. If you have a button box, that works as well. Uh, extra option B, whoops, extra option B. Another button on my wheel, whoops, error message. Uh, but anyway, I've got, let's see here. Did that take? Yes, okay, so I've got extra option nine, excuse me, I've got button nine and 10 assigned to extra options A and B. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a D option as well. So I've got A, B, and D on my wheel mapped. All right, now how did I know to use extra option A and B? Well, we'll get a little clue here. Uh, in fact, more than a clue. So when I go to launch the uh, VRC Chevrette into game, Wait a tick, wait a tick. As you can see, it tells you what the extra options do. So in this case, A is ignition, B is starter. You can also use alt and number seven, number pad seven, or alt and number pad eight to replicate uh, extra option A and B. But again, go to drive, and then button nine, as you remember, was extra option A, so I press that once. And then button 10, I hold that down and I have started the car. So that works for the VRC cars, but I wanna show you one more. So let's go over to the Ferrari F40 LM. So as you can see with the LM, we have extra option D, which is the engine on and off, or start and off. So let's jump in. And I just press extra option D, which is, uh, I don't know which button this was, I can't remember the button number, but anyway, press extra option D and she roars to life. Now, as a little bonus here, actually I've got two bonuses for you today. The first one is if I F7 out of this car and move myself over a bit, when I press extra option A, it opens the door. Pretty cool, also closes the door. Let's go over here, extra option B, ta-da, opens the passenger door, pretty cool. So there's some hidden features like that that you might find with uh, Content Manager and Custom Shaders patch. Um, but that's just some of them in the Ferrari. And I told you there would be a second bonus. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into, jump back into the VRC Chevrette and I'll show you a bonus way to start a car. All right, so I mentioned there would be a bonus way to start the car. So let's just take a look at uh, something. It's, it's not very useful, but it is a pretty cool feature that VRC has added to these TA2 cars. All right, so let's say you're driving along and things go terribly and somehow you stall the engine okay in this case I've manually killed the engine but as long as the ignition is on keep an eye on the pedal inputs in the top left corner of your screen I'm gonna go clutch in put the car in gear a little bit of throttle pull that clutch out a little bit of throttle there we go so hill start rolling start clutch kick whatever you want to call it you can actually start a car this way and anybody who might have grown up in the 90s or 80s and uh, had an old H pattern car and had the battery die, you probably know exactly how this works. You get your five strongest friends to push the car through a parking lot, you dump that clutch and hope for the best and you can actually do that in Assetto Corsa now and I find that remarkable. So just another tip of the hat to VRZ really pushing the limits of the custom shaders patch. Again, is it the most useful feature in sim racing? Absolutely not. Is it incredibly cool yes in my opinion just an incredible level of detail <laughs> in these cars uh, so that's it that's the other way to start a car to settle Corsa hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we'll see you next time